Hey, everybody, Gnome Shark here, and we're gonna go sliding down a vine. Oh, God, it's so much. Look at me go. I'm super cool. I'm super cool, raccoon. Look at him. Look at him move his feet. Oh, yeah. I'm sliding down a thing. Uh huh. Double jump, flip, and land. Cool, quiet, and collected. Gnome Shark here. I might have said that already, but here we are in Miss Ruby's lair. Comes complete with creepy organ music, crickets chirping, rain, and mo. Oh, there she is. Yeah, Miss Ruby's creepy as hell. And I don't know if that I I don't know if what kind of accent they tried to give her. To me, it sounds like she's from New Orleans. I don't I don't know. That, that might just be me and my ignorance or something, but like I, I don't even know. She she's weird, man. Like our family's gonna grow, grow, grow fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah, uh, yeah, there's no way that guy's gonna miss. Jeez. Alright. Uh, turn your ass around, Sonny Jim. Oh god, no, 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 he's still looking for me. Yep, Miss Ruby's guards are, are pretty good. They, they're intelligent. They look real stupid compared to everybody else's, but they are very intelligent guards. Electrified roll attack. Yeah, we just learned that. We just learned that in the last episode. Hey, if you didn't watch it, you should go watch it. Um, do I want to start over? Is that all I have to say? Yeah, Miss Ruby. Uh, Miss Ruby's really creepy. I forget what did she say? You miserable piles of swamp gas. Yeah, she's she's really. There's something wrong with this one. The Lair of the Beast. Yeah, this is where I like to start, just to give you a hint of what you're in for. But it's it's uh, you're not gonna we're not gonna be doing much thieving work. Not to mention she mentioned her army of ghosts that she's gonna create and take over Mexico. Like she's just nuts in the head. Like this is like the night. This is like the dreams and it's like this is like the dreams and nightmares of like I don't even know what. But that's right. Maybe she is trying to keep something in Sly. And you bet your boots that she is trying to keep something in. Oh boy. But what I'm, the point I'm trying to get across by doing this level first is not so much sneaking and stealing stuff, mostly just trying not to devolve into losing your sanity over how much of a nightmare-induced place this is. Uh, inducing place this is. Like, why are we over here right now, Sly? Are we gonna steal something? Like, does Miss Ruby have a nice ruby? We could steal. Oh, damn it. Oh, wait, no, I have that I have that water. Remember that water gravity the water defying power we got? As long as we have a lucky charm, we can survive water without taking a hit. It's actually becoming pretty helpful. It should be pretty helpful here, actually, with all the swamp and stuff. But we're not uh, Sly, are we gonna be stealing anything here in Miss Ruby's um little lair over here? What what are we doing over here? Well, I don't know what we're doing over here, but our odds of dying have definitely at least triplified. <laughs> Triplify. One time when I was a freshman in high school, it was like the first essay I ever wrote for uh, for high school in like English class, and I just remember like I used the word triplify because lots of spiders, 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 oh SpongeBob! But I used the word triplify, and like she, I remember her circling it and just putting not a word, and I was like, what? Triplify is so a word, and I'm still convinced that it is because I've said triplify all my life. Like, you double something and then you triplify it. No, it's it's triple. I know it's triple, but I figured triplify was an okay, I don't know, something or other. But, uh, come on, Sly, come on, this thing. These damn ca candles getting in your way. You heard, Miss Ruby. The mojo magic was strong tonight. We gotta work fast before the you know the juju vibe like switches favor into the. Alligators. Oh my god, whoa. Hello, circle button. Just bypassing that one thing and go, oh god, mosquito in midair. Hang on, we gotta kill this guy before we go fight him in the air yet. You have to like jump and swing because they'll, if they get, if they'll like wait and then dive attack you. Come on, I have a lucky charm, right? I have a lucky charm so it doesn't take it away. That's how it works. Yup, that's how we do it. Thank god we got that one page of the Thievius Raccoonus. Because that is really starting to help, is really coming through. It's really pulling through. We're getting our money's worth out of that. Yeah, it's real creepy. Did you see those reeds move? Oh, 
There's something huge under there. Oh god. You better get going. There's something in the water. There's nothing worse than when there's an enemy and it knows where you are, but you don't know where it is, and it's in the water, which is never good because the water is you can't see in the water, and we gotta run. Where is that thing? I know that thing freaking pops out at some point, I know, and you gotta run like hell. Hold on. Uh, just wanna make sure I get all the bottles while I while it's still while they're still while it's still calm. Alright, we got 18, here we go. Let's just move on. Knock these candles out of the way. Smack that. Okay, with the Koopa Clan stick. The Koopa Clan stick. Yeah, oh, I thought that mosquito was way closer. Whoop, thought I mistimed that too. Oh, there's bottles down here. We'll get these. Okay, 22 out of 30. We're almost done, but... Oh, damn it. Can I not get back up there? Is that, was that the, was that the trap? Is that, is that what they were going for here? Oh, no. Whoa! That, whoa, I definitely just, like, cheated the game by pressing the circle button, because it thought I was going to go onto the vine, unless you're supposed to do that. I don't know, but come on, get the bottle! Oh, hey, but I have a lucky charm, so I don't die! Wow, having coming and coming in here with a lucky charm with that, with that bonus perk, pretty helpful. Pretty darn helpful. Saw the reeds move again. There's something in the water. There's something moving in there. And I don't think it's happy that we're here. I wonder, oh boy, up there, oh my god, a giant snake, 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 oh, it's a snake, it's a slight, it's a Koopa, 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 no, I missed a bottle, no, I missed a shit ton of bottles, damn it, I'm gonna have to do this again, don't worry, I'll do it off screen, don't worry, I'll do it off screen, it's okay, we just gotta go, a Koopa, 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 Bentley, Bentley, a Koopa, 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 Bentley, Bentley, snake, Snake! Oh, it's a snake! It's a Koopa Koopa Koopa. It's a Murray Murray Murray. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. There we go, there's the treasure key. Okay. I missed like two bottles. Not to mention, I don't even know where the safe is. Where's the safe? Oh, yep, it's over there. How many did I miss? Two, and I know exactly where they are. Don't worry about that, guys. I'll, I'll nab those. I'll nab those two bottles. And, uh, I guess I'll do it off screen. Yeah, there's no way to, there's no way to, uh, there's no reason to show. You know, the, the, the beast's lair again. I'm just gonna turn around. Come on, Sly, we gotta go do something real quick. For the peeps. Oh god, is this it? Oh yeah, oh gee, this, this is it. Oh my god, the camera didn't turn around. Get the bottle, Sly, get the bottle, Sly! That's okay, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Get the bottle, Sly! Dude, dude, okay, boom. Now just run from the snake, continue running from the snake. Oh, we're gonna do this epic angle. Yes, that's right, we're gonna do this epic angle. Oh my god, that's okay, just push me ahead. I got plenty of health. Oh, but I'm at, okay, now we're, now the water is dangerous because we don't have a lucky charm. Now the water is dangerous. Don't fall in the agua. Please don't fall in the agua. Please don't fall in the agua. We're okay. Come on, Weebo. We're okay. We're all right. Oh, God, what did I do? All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Whew. Now, as long as we can just get over to the safe and open her up without dying, we'll be in good shape. All right, so let's turn to Boom. Skibbity doo -dah. Okay, we're going to guess. We're going to go four, seven, nine. If it's 479, we all know what happens. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, hey, I got the, I wasn't, I was never going to guess 444, but I got the first one right, and my heart sank a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh. All right, Sly, what did we, what did we come back all this way to get? We got... Oh. Oh. Technique. Yeah? Using the data on this page, I should be able to tap the duty roster in each hideout and project guard information into your binoculars. Oh, this. I remember getting this once before. Um, right. Hold on, I gotta do some math for a second. Okay, uh, I'm done doing the math. <laughs> don't worry, I was just calculating times and stuff. I, I don't want to lose myself as far as how long I've been recording and stuff. But yeah, this is kind of dumb, actually. It's kind of stupid. But um, if you use your Benaki com and like point them at one of the at the guards, it'll tell you like their name and like what they do and what they eat for dinner and stuff. It's 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 mostly just for pure enjoyment, real. Let's see if we can find a schmo that we can do this on. Is there anybody out here? Is there anybody? Any volunteers? No volunteers. Okay. Well, we'll find somebody, but as you can see, we need three treasure keys before we can open up the second half of Miss Ruby's lair. And where are we gonna go next? I don't even know. Um, that didn't take too long. Oh, we can do it on this. We can do it on this guy. Um, let's see. Mojo Dupree. Rhododentia Voodooium. Enjoys golf. Oh, huh, well, 
That, that's good. I'm glad he en enjoys golf. Um, how the hell am I gonna get over there? Oh, wait, I think I know. I think I know. We gotta sneak around that side there. Just gotta sneak around that side. Here we go. Click. Hold the circle. I'm gonna slidle and slunk. Slidle, 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 slunk, slunk. And you're dead! Oh, 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 sorry. That's the last round of golf you're other, you'll, other, yeah, you'll ever play. A grave undertaking. Okay, this one, you know, we just did a non-minigame level. Maybe we should switch it up. Maybe we should switch it up, actually. Should I do that? Um, is there a way, is there a way to check to see what the other one is that's out here? There's the swamp, right, there's the swamp start sentence. Layer of the Bees, we did that. Oh yeah, Piranha Lake, that's a minigame. We should, uh, let's, let's head over there, actually. We could try to alternate this. I'd actually feel, I'd actually feel better about that. Let's do, um, Piranha Lake. Where is Piranha Lake? That's definitely not Piranha Lake. Don't, oh, do I not have a Lucky Charm? No, I do, okay. Um, where the hell is Piranha Lake? Oh, it's gotta be this one. Wait a minute. Do you, wait, do you just smash this open? No. How do you get over there? Oh, here we go. This is how you get over there. All right. We just gotta wait for Voodoo Doobie down here to bite that dust. And then we can do Piranha Lake. Okay, here we go. Very good. This shouldn't take too long. You just, you, you ride around on this thing called a Swamp Skiff. I don't know why, if that's a real thing. Maybe it's like the thing that, um, Medusa rides on at the end of the Great Mouth, uh, not the Great Mouth Detective, the Rescuers, where she's got, like, the Swamp Mobile, and it's like, <laughs> And you, you know, you know what I mean? Anybody, anybody know what I mean? Any, no? no? Alright, whatever. But the point is, you just gotta, like, collect oil. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, you run over the, the, you run into the piranhas, and they give you fish oil, I take it? Like, those omega-3s that you see on TV all the time? And then you, uh, you burn the torches, and after you light all the torches, you get a treasure key. I don't understand the science, but the point is, we're driving a swamp skiff! Where are those fishy? Come here, fishy, 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 fishy. Okay, run over a bunch of them. There we go. Boom. We got three. We can only, well, we can only hold a maximum of five shots. That's not a lot of shots. Okay. Whatever. This is how it's going to have to work. Yeah, keep traveling in a group like that. Mmm. Run over them fishies. I only got one. How did I only get one from that? Holy crap. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, man. There's 25. There's so many torches. So many torches, so little time. The snozberries taste like snozberries. Oh, anyway. All right, boom. Boom. Boom, okay. Oh, darn it. I'm pressing the square button thing. Fire's gonna come out. There's no fire that comes out. All right, we'll just, we'll just ride the swamp skip over the torch. Why not? I don't know what the, what the best strategy is here. Maybe the best strategy is to, like, go for five fish. And once you have five fish, like, systematically take care of five torches that are next to each other so you don't lose track of where they all are. Like, right now I'm gonna get five guaranteed torches. And if there's 25 altogether, I only have to do that five times. And, I, and as long as I don't lose track. So maybe that's the best way of doing this. Instead of, like, getting, like, as many fish as you can at one point and then just getting whatever happened to be the nearby torches. Because then you, um will miss some, and then you have to spend all that time looking around for more. Oh, wow, we got a lot there on that on that one go. Holy crap, we already have 16, and there's 30 seconds left. Hold on, we might be able to do this. There's time. There's plenty of time. We, we can do this. We can do this. One, two, okay, wait, we just gotta load up. We gotta load up on five. Come here, fishies, fishies, I gotta load up on five. Load up on five, two, two, okay, three. Oh, man, if I do this on my first try, that'd be nuts. Okay, we got five. We have enough shots. Where's the torches? There's one. All right. There's the- okay, I see more. There's the other. There's one more. Where the hell are the other ones? Where the hell are the other ones? Where the hell are they? Where the hell are you? Oh, no, oh, they were right there. Ah, uh, Fine, yes, I'll try again. Bring it on, piranha fish. Okay, here we go, here we go. Just running them over, getting those omega-3 oils. Gonna light those torches with our omega-3s. Boom, boom, boom. I remember when I used to work at Rite Aid. Yeah, I used to have a, like a job at Rite Aid. And boy, was it miserable. Not because it was just like a minimum wage, you know, job you have as a, as, has as a teen, have as a teenager. But because like they watched you like a freaking hawk. Like there was like, there was like, cameras at each of the cashier things. They would like, you would get written up if you were like a nickel over, like you forgot to give somebody a nickel. Like they, they freaking watched, it was just uncomfortable how like, well-documented every second of every day of yours, they 
had on file. It's just uncomfortable. Not to mention everybody there was a douche. Like this one guy. It'd be really unfortunate if anybody was watching this that I used to work with, but whatever. Um, you know, I won't use any real names, but there was this one guy, and he had a normal name. Let's just call him Mike. He had a normal name, but he wanted us to call him, like, this ridiculous nickname. Let's just call it, like, Omega. And, like, it was just like, how about no? But that's what he made, like, made you reference him as. And he was just the biggest tool. He would just spend his entire day in the toy aisle, just playing with the rubber bouncy balls and, like, wouldn't do a damn thing, and he wouldn't even wear the proper uniform. Like, he wouldn't wear, like, the, the, like, the blue Rite Aid, ha hello, I'm ready to assist you smock thing, and the button-down shirt, whatever. He wouldn't even wear that. And yet, he got promoted. He was the biggest dick on the planet, and he got, thank you. I, I love how I'm telling a story, and now I can do it. And he got uh, promoted to, like, assistant manager. No thank you. That's when I threw my hands up in the air and said, I'm done with this crap, and I quit immediately. I couldn't believe- I just, uh, uh, anyway. Give me the treasure key. Boom. Thank you very much. The point of that story was, when I used to work at Rite Aid, the old people used to be like, Oh, will the Omega-3 vitamins give me fish burps? And I'm like, how the hell would I know if Omega-3 vitamins will give you fish burps? I don't want to smell like Free Willy. What the hell are you talking about, old man? Duh, porridge. <laughs>